<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the stream. It is daytime. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. We have had technical difficulties. Um, hopefully, we are going to um, not have any more of those. <laughs> Um, so yeah, welcome to the stream everybody, it is Thursday, it is Thursday, did I say it was Wednesday, it is Thursday, um, we're in the kitchen, it's 30 degrees outside, so it is gross, I have the air conditioner on, so it is nice, <laughs> so it's a great day to be in the kitchen, um, so today, cooking, we're in the kitchen, ta-da, <laughs> as you can see, the fernery is getting better. There is more and more fernery stuff. So today we are doing a caramelized onion relish. I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, so to begin with, we've got a heap of leftover jars uh, from various things. I'm gonna throw them in the oven to sterilize them. Um, and I'm gonna put it on about 150 for this one. I'm gonna see if the lids can take it. Hopefully the lids can take it. Um, they're metal lids, so they should. But once they get up to temperature, that's going to sterilize the jars, and we're going to be able to um, just go on ahead with that. So, um, where are my knives? I don't know where my knives are. <laughs> I do. They're out the back. Um, the knives are out the back, and they are um, waiting to be sharpened because I've, I've just been so. I'll be back momentarily. Ta-da! So today, as always, music by Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. Go check him out on YouTube for royalty-free music. Um, Twitch safe royalty-free music even. So, what we're starting with is we are starting with a kilo of onions. And we're going to chop these up. Told you they were waiting to be sharpened. <laughs> we need another. I really do have to make some more ice cream. The perfect temperature for ice cream, so I should be making it. <laughs> Ooh, double! A double onion. Looks like skin going down into the onion. Yeah, not that one. It looks so weird. I've never seen this before. I'm just going to try and cut it out. It doesn't appear to want to come out, but it is getting bigger. seen that before. Wow. There you go. I've never seen that. That was a lot of onion. Anyway. Ta-da. <laughs> just a little bit of like folded over skin or something but it turned out new 
Not even close. How are you doing, Kiki? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. I am well, thank you. Uh, what am I looking for? Somewhere to put the onions on. What have you been up to? Okay, had a brunch of a breakfast wrap and an iced latte. Okay, nice. Both went and took May and Akira to the dog park. Nice. It's always nice for the doggies to get out and do some doggy park stuff. Ooh, okay. Fine. May was so happy after she drooled all over Sith's windows. <laughs> Good pupper. Shave this one a bit more than I would have liked, but she'll be right. Excellent. Well, we'll no doubt, no doubt be meeting him in a little over a week. Like a week and a half. Alright, can you give that a little rinse? too full of stuff. It's BYO drinks and food. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, Jim Toy, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Are you doing this fine daytime? <laughs> Thursday. I think I called it Wednesday at the start of the stream and it's bugging me. I'm going to have to go back and watch the board. <laughs> oh, we've dropped a few frames already. Boo to dropping frames. Oh, nope. Get back. Get back to where you once belonged. Who knew it was a song about onions? Save the plastic bag for later usage. Um, I did find a recipe for the relish. Um, this is an old one, but I found it on the Beerenberg site, so it should be should be tasty. There's not a lot of ingredients. It's pretty much bare bones.
Slightly jealous? Why? It's actually a really simple recipe. this all up. Ah, there's the meow meow. Hello beanie. Uh, the beanie and the zig zig. Alright, taking that bit out. Don't like that bit. Boo! <laughs> I could probably cut them a bit bigger than this, but I'm going to leave it at that. Akira can hear me. Hello, Akira. How you doing, pupper? Because these are going to reduce down, so you can have reasonably big bits. I want to try and turn this into a bit more of a mush, though, for a relish. Um, it may it may work out that I should have cut the uh, the onions bigger. But we'll see. Yeah, come on. She got de shedded and already more clumps coming out. <laughs> well, you know, she is a husky. We like our girls husky around here. <laughs> Shakes are bad today. <laughs> May's now here. Hello, my West. How you doing, Pupper? Yeah, that's a bit much. Woohoo! Chopping boards skidding all over the place. ran into your room because she heard my voice and that puffed her out. Oops. Making a dribble pile. <laughs> well, you know, she's earned it. She puffer. Uh-oh, there it is. Woo! Ah! Sting and eyes. Hey, Broadside, how you doing? Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Looks like this is off to a cracking start. <laughs> right? Oh, onions. I got most of the way through it before it started killing my eyeballs. <laughs> Um, things are pretty good. Um, I uh, have a slight nail injury. <laughs> Smacked it with a sword. So, whoops. How have you been? I haven't actually been able to catch your uh, catch your um, stream for a while, Broadside. Oh, 
just a moment. Ooh, found another bit in that onion. Out. All right. Short injuries will happen. Yeah, right. You've been pretty good just working, streaming and wrestling. Nothing too exciting. Aha. Enter. There we go. So, if you haven't already, go check out Fire of Broadside. I really do enjoy watching his streams. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, a number of the games that I've played, uh, including uh, Return of the Obra Dinn, has been because I've been watching his streams and just enjoyed watching the game. So, I've gone and played them. Um, so yeah, go check it out. <laughs> and kick is off. <laughs> Wrestling. All right, so now we need some olive oil. Technically two tailors. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, now we should use. I think the. All right, we'll use this oil. It'll be fine. It says two tablespoons, so you know we're gonna guesstimate two tablespoons. Whoops, I forgot. Oh no. There's the technical difficulty. <laughs> That's the one I forgot. We didn't get the camera working. <sighs> there we go. Can we get to adjust it? So that we can see what's going on. Ta da! <laughs> Formerly known as Bob. <laughs> yeah, it's really good when you watch Broadside. Um, if, when he goes on break, he'll put up wrestling uh, wrestling um, videos for people to watch. It's awesome. Some of them, I, I've got to say, Broadside, some of them, uh, like you get to that point and it's like you come back and it's like, what happened in the rest of the match? <laughs> Which is very funny. All right, cleaning up a little bit, some more coffee dray. How big is the professional wrestling scene in Australia? Like, because I, I, I know a, a little bit about it and I see you know, I edge past it every now and then. Um, how big is it like this? Like, my, I do medieval fencing. So we're looking at probably, at any given time, probably around 400 people around Australia, New Zealand that do that. That do some sort of, well, with our group. There are other groups out there and all that. But what would be the, the sort of wrestling numbers? Bigger than it used to be? Yeah, cool. I should let that heat up. I'm all excited now. I want to just... <laughs> Wait for the pan to heat up, Ulrich. <laughs> That's hot enough. It's hot enough. It's hot enough. Your favorite Aussie racer is Cracker Jack and Havoc. Okay. Uh, depends where you are. Newy Pro. Regularly pull good crowds here. Somewhere in the hundreds. Nice. 
most of the places I work pull a solid 50 to 100. Yeah, nice. Sweet. Crackers is incredible. Um, I'd have to put Mick Moretti, Sid Parker, and Jessica Troy up there for me as well. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm going to take it that you guys know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sizzle! Don't know if you can... Nah, it's not coming through on the mic. Boo! off far enough and it's still left a bit of, of rooty root material so that's fine <laughs> I pretty much haven't watched professional wrestling since probably about a year after the WWF turned into the WWE apart from the matches that Broadside puts up Undertaker versus Mankind, where the cage match, where Taker accidentally put Mankind through the roof. I'm just, I'm just watching that going, what the hell? We do? Who's the Adelaide rep? I've done a whole bunch down in Melbourne, but I have been down a few times. Nice. All right, Rhea Ripley. She, uh, um, an Adelaidean. I did not know this. There you go. Yay. And kind of boo, because that's going to make people want to come and come and see Adelaide. It's like, leave my little country town alone. <laughs> nice. She's from Glenelg. Oh, nice. Sweet. I just pulled the sugar out and a cloud of flour exited the cupboard. All right, what do we got? We've got a third of a cup of brown sugar. Want some brown sugar? Shakes are getting to me. <laughs> Went fit. Eh, eh. <laughs> she slapped him across the chest, Ric Flair style. Big Bruce photo up somewhere. <laughs> going everywhere. Come on. There you go. Whoop. Hey. Nope. It's alright. I just cleaned down this. Uh, I always clean down the bench properly um, just before we go on stream so that when I get messy like this, it doesn't matter. I keep thinking like, you know, you, you, um, you think, oh, 2015, you know, so Broadside started wrestling about 2015. Oh, so I haven't been doing it long. It's like, 
All right, that's nine years. <laughs> okay. I keep thinking like I haven't been I haven't been doing sword fighting with the SCA very long and it's like no no or you joined them in 2014 that was a decade ago I'm like what the hell when did that happen Mind you, do we really count the COVID years? Do we get to count the COVID years? Kiki started studying nursing eight years ago, yeah. Ross I keep claiming I've been doing it for five years, but it was actually 2020. I'm up on a decade next year and definitely too old for this shit. <laughs> yeah, we have a... We have a gathering uh, every Easter-ish uh, for Australia and New Zealand to get together and uh, and do it, come together and do some fighting. And uh, I <laughs> this year, or well, last year, I didn't go, but last year I qualified for the old person's tournament. <laughs> I was like, oh God! <laughs> I was gonna do a DDP and do a tryout in my mid thirties. <laughs> no, I am way too broken for that level of athleticism. Way too broken. Havoc's been at it for 25 years. Oh, wow. No, no, I understand it was you, Kiki, absolutely. I'm kind of, I am kind of going to do it backward, uh, backwards because we have two main forms of fighting. Uh, one is called heavy, which is in uh, pretty much full armor, rattan sticks going full power, off you go, um, which is called heavy. And then we have uh, rapier, which is what I do, which is all, you know, more dexterous and, and it's all to the touch. And what will happen is a lot of heavies will go through, they'll get to a certain age, and then they'll go, you know what, heavy's a bit much for me now. I'm going to go over and do rapier, because it, it's gentler. And so, <laughs> um, when I hit that point in rapier, I'm then going to go over to heavy and start doing heavy. <laughs> Just for shiggles. <laughs> there are other reasons, but it's mostly shiggles. <laughs> Alright, that's nice. They're starting to soften nicely. See a few big chunks, the bigger chunks that I want to break up still. Why are you not breaking up? Aha. Uh -huh. Because you still have a bit of root on you. I do this occasionally, I don't know why. But I miss one I miss the root bit. So you can see there it's just that hopefully you can see it's, there that's better you can see that little bit of root that's still there oh that's starting to brown off uh, good time to turn it down because we don't want it to brown off too much just yet Broadside's first match was at 32. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, we are going to take a third of a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar. A third of a cup of balsamic vinegar. ka -ching. Throw the sugar in. Come on. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, 
lit the measuring cup. Um, some sea salt. There she is. some salt and some pepper and we mix that all up hey Dawn Rage welcome to the chat welcome to the stream to see the rest of that clip I really do <laughs> um, I mean yeah if you're ever worried about being too old for something you're actually the youngest you're ever gonna be so waiting only makes it less damn straight was that was that done on a, a promo one of the promo little promo redeems That is great. I love those redeems. They're so much fun. Um, Rach has been pondering life and trying to decide whether I want toast or cereal. Have cereal. Cereal on toast. <laughs> What's a promo redeem? You had Emmy uh, from the Twitch retro community up and when I went to a break, I swapped her out for me and someone redeemed a promo from her. Nice. <laughs> right, so we've put the balsamic in and the sugar. It's starting to colour some of the onions, as you can see. You can see there's still those white flecks in there. But we now leave it there um, until the sauce thickens. So that's going to be interesting. Always toast. Uh, Rach, thank you, because toast with cereal on it sounds soggy and horrible. <laughs> I'm doing well. I got brave enough to take the um, take the band-aid off my thumb. It was both better and worse than I thought it was. <laughs> so, the nail has cracked down. Not as far as I thought it had. I thought it had gone about a centimetre, but it had only gone about half a centimetre. But then, it had gone all the way sideways. So, so it's lifted from the centre. Oh, so much hurt. So much hurt. But other than that, doing well. We've caught up on YouTube. I'm putting stuff up on YouTube. We've, I'm running out of excuses not to start getting the cookbook going on the Discord. <laughs> right. So for those who came in late, I've actually got, um, I've got a heap of jars in the oven. Uh, I've got it at about 150 degrees to sterilize them. And we'll be using those when we uh, when we finish this. We'll be using them to store it. So storing, um, depending on which recipe you read, um, storage will last um, between, like in a dark place, in a cupboard, will last between three months and a year. It's basically, so I'm probably going to go six to eight months. It'll store. Um, so... We'll write a little date on the top of it and put it in the cupboard. But yeah, so hot glass is hot. <laughs> you got quote zero. Nice. Um, I don't know how many quotes we've got on here, actually. I'm going to have to fix that one day. One day. Ulrich, technical difficulties, raucous. <laughs> yeah, it was the first ever cooking quote. 
Absolutely. <laughs> right, so this is we've got this going. You can it's just sizzling away nicely. It's really weird because some of the bits of onion have gone like totally black. Well, not really. They've gone dark. Um, and other bits of it have gone um, are still really white. Very interesting. Just want to play with it. I want to keep playing with it. Oh, we've only got two. Ah. Okay. Well, we're going to have to say more quotable things. <laughs> uh. Whoa, look at the date on the burrito one. 2303 2023. 2303 2023. Uh -huh. <laughs> Only two. Oh well. We'll get more quotable quotes while we have a coffee drink. So now we're just waiting for that to simmer down. Simmer down. <laughs> We'll, we'll just say that you're too busy laughing, Rach. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Mmm, balsamic. Do you like balsamic vinegar? Just like having a salad, like pile up a salad on a plate and just douse it with balsamic vinegar. Oh, no, no, no. Simple things in life, right? <laughs> yeah, I've got to go through that. I've, yeah, I've got to go through my clips. I've got to make another opening, another opening so that we can have different clips and we can go, you know, nostalgia ones and newer ones. And <laughs> I may have to start a condiments. I don't know what this is going to go under. This is going to be interesting. I don't know what it is. But I used to, when I had crappy um, cookware, <laughs> there's a word, cookware. When I had crappy cookware, you'd, you'd always have to stir it and you know, stop it sticking to the bottom of the pan and blah, 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 blah. And then, and it was just annoying as shit. Now, I'll just sit here, I'll just sit here, you know, la, 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 la. <laughs> and I'll just sit and just lose myself in that little bit of stirring just a weird as shit I don't know anyway <laughs> uh, my sister used to make a beetroot risotto with balsamic glazed lamb when she was living here a few years oh okay nom 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 I like beetroot so a beetroot risotto could be interesting Alright, I'm going to have to write that down too. <gasps> my note pen is missing. Where is my note taking pen? Oh my god, where is it? Found it. Um, Beetroot risotto. And what was the other one? Balsamic glazed lamb. I think I've done that. I think I've actually, it's a, I think I've done one of those. Not, I don't think I've done it on stream, but I think I have done one. At least a balsamic, um, a, <laughs> words, words, um, Marinade. A balsamic marinade on lamb. I think I've done that. Risotto is delicious and one of my favourite dishes, but ADHD make it hard to make. Yeah, fair. Yeah. And Kiki's back. Absolutely. 
absorb. Absorb. <laughs> But I love this. I don't know if you you should be able to see this on. Hang on. But this is this is what I mean by good cookware. I mean I've just scraped that off, and that's the silver bottom of the pan. You wipe that with a with a um, you wipe that with a piece of paper towel, and that's clean again. I love good cookware. Oh, boo! Poor Kiki has to go back to work. <laughs> work? What is this work? Bah! Bah, I say! Bah! <laughs> yeah, I've got work I should be doing. <laughs> I'll get there. I've... <laughs> I've decided recently to rewatch. Um, I was reincarnated as a slime, so I've got that playing in the background when I'm doing stuff on the computer, and I am really, I really enjoy that anime. It's like pretty much wholesome. It's actually wholesome. It's like we, it, which is weird for an isekai. That one's epic. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. I hope they do a third season on it. I really do hope they do a third season of it, but we'll see. I'm just trying to think now, how do I get, what's going to be the easiest way to get this relish into a jar? That be the question. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, right, so I should unpack my suitcase before work. I didn't get the chance yesterday rushing off to start my shift. Oh, it drives me nuts. I've got to, as soon as I get home, I don't care what that, what time it is, I've got to start unpacking. Like, even if I get home really, really late, I pull out, I'll, I will just pull out all the dirty clothes and put them in the laundry. I'll get my toiletries bag out, I'll put all the washing in the laundry, and as long as I've done that much, I'm okay. But if I get home at, like, lunchtime, then it's like, right, everything in the washing machine, everything out of the bag, blah, 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 blah. Oddly, I will then leave one thing, like a pair of shoes, in the bag for six months. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do it. Uh, Kiki, we watch so many animes that I don't know the names of animes. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, I just did a whole isekai marathon, and I couldn't tell you half the names of them. Right, so that sauce is starting to get all right. So I think we're starting to get to the point where um, that's going to be thick enough. So this is going to be a quick stream, quick stream. Uh, I couldn't do half a job. It would have annoyed me more, I think. I literally came in, grabbed a uniform and left again, changed in the treatment room at work so I could listen to handover at the same time. <laughs> yeah, fair. Well, we've got to do these things. Alright, so, here we go. We need... This is a little... Oh, this is a little trick that I learned a while ago. So we've got a nice thick wooden chopping board. We do have a thicker one, but I'm gonna use this one. So wood absorbs heat, right? But not at a startling rate. Um, it also insulates. So when I take these really, really hot glass jars, out of the oven, because glass is hot, we've had that quote, <laughs> um, I can put it on the wood and it's not going to shock the glass. It's going to um, uh, absorb some of the heat, but it's not at such a rate that the glass is going to shock and crack. Hopefully. Every time I've done it on 
a kitchen surface or edit some or even a, I did it on a um, sink surface once glass cracked it was horrible um, since doing it on on wood I've not had that issue so um, Kiki I did one agency shift on weekend and for two hours work I've got a hundred and fifty dollars nice Oh yeah, getting home at 3 a.m. Yep, I can see why that would be an issue. <laughs> yep, Rach, no. You are not allowed to fit extra another job in. No, just no. <laughs> and just in case that was unclear, no. <laughs> we want you to keep what health you have left, Rach. Alright, so how am I going to figure this? How am I going to do this? Could do it with the cup measure and just spoon it in maybe. That should be, yep. Oh yeah, that is really hot. Uh, no, that's going to not. Dag nabbit. Eh. <laughs> Alright. Let's turn that off for now. So now the question will be, do I have enough jars? Whoops, missed. I'm trying to squeeze, squeeze it in. Um, so let's get, let's get a spoon. Take that off. There we go. Look at that. Who knew? Spoon. Nah, spoon's too small for that. <laughs> well, we tried. And there's the first one. Um, lid. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slam a lid on that. And there we go. That's some relish. You know what? Grab a spoon. Should have done this first, but here we go. Jesus. It's got just a little bit of crunch left in it. And you've got the mix of, um, you've got the mix of that, that little bit of tart uh, from the balsamic, a little bit of underlying sweetness from the sugar, and then a little bit of crunch from the onion. And oh my God, this is delight. Mm. Oh, onion relish with ham and cheese on toast. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Rach. All the things. Oh, all right. So I think I know what I'm having this afternoon or this evening for dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some ham though. Oh, do it as a toasty ham and cheese toasty with relish. That would be something to, oh my God. Yeah, okay. We may be doing this. <laughs> so I was worried I wouldn't have enough room. I wouldn't have enough jars, but looks like I'm going to, This is good.
going to get this done in three. Whoops, sorry, ads. Bad ads. Stupid ads. So all I'm doing to pack it is just filling it up, getting that, that small um, spoon, compressing it light-ishly, and um, until it just doesn't compress anymore. <laughs> Not a toasty, but on toasted bread. Yeah, okay. Don't know why, but I like it better as a toast sandwich. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I'm going to have to try both ways now. It's all your fault, right? <laughs> all right. Let's start scooping some of this up. Over there. All right, fine. So yeah, we started with a kilo of onions. And it looks like that's going to make it into maybe three bottles. Maybe three and a bit. I may just, you know, if we've got a little bit extra, I might slam on a bit of toast and um, just eat it with the, eat it with the relish on it. we got it into three jars and the jars are nice and hot so this is going to seal um, seal them quite nicely I'm done hot hot Woo. the heat is starting to go through the glove Good glove though that it's lasted this long. Maybe that's what you'll have for breakfast. <laughs> <Oof. laughs> Alright. Got a little bit left. Ah! Okay, that bit's on the floor now. <laughs> Away with you. Turn the oven off. So I put five jars in the oven just for just for giggles, and because um, always better to have too many. Mm. So, the spoon that I used to tamp down is about the same size as the, the hole in the jar. Um, that worked out randomly. That was certainly not a planned thing. 
right? Since I'm still sitting here and I haven't made any move to nourish yourself, right? So, it's about the, about the same size. You can see that that's... <laughs> Excellent. So, the pop tops, these are pop tops. You can hear that maybe. Um, two of them have already, the suction has already sucked it closed. Um, as the as it cools down, that's what does it. That's how the pop tops work. Um, you put it in hot, and as the air cools, it shrinks, which then forms a vacuum, which then um, gives you pop tops. Yay! So this hopefully will last quite some time. I'm gonna grab a um, tech star. Sharpie. God, that stuff is tasty. And so this cost, what? Three jars of relish cost us what? About, probably about $4 of ingredients. Maybe five. Let's say five. Five dollars worth of ingredients. Five jars of sweet relish. Um, so, date. We need a date. When were these put in? 2202. So, um, here we go. 2202. Because these are not going to last beyond 2024. <laughs> so, there we go. Marked! Dating stuff is always very important. Because <laughs> if you know, you don't know when you put them in your cupboard. Yeah. Just thought there was a little bit more in there. Ah. Mm. Oh, we may have to um we may have to uh do another do another show where we get to uh oh that one's not sealing. Why is that one not sealing? Ah oh, yes it is. Alright. Excellent. Ta-da! So there we go. Um, now I've got to clean up. But, here we, so we've used what? A couple of chopping boards, a plate. Um, that chopping board's not even dirty. And a few knives, a few spoons, a couple of bits and bobs. Not bad. <laughs> Happy with that. So, this will keep forever. And a really good way, especially if you are growing your own onions, which I'm not at the moment, because um, my garden has gone fallow. Um, uh, if you are cooking onion, if you are growing onions, this is a really good way to preserve them, and a tasty way to preserve them at that. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do figure out different ways to preserve garlic as well. That's gonna be interesting. Boop, 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 boop. Uh -huh. All right, so there we go. Um, what else are we doing? Um, so I'm thinking that that was a stream. Let's go have a look and see if there are people to read. Who we got? Oh, Nightmares doing No Man's Sky. Nice. All right, so um, I like Nightmare doing No Man's Sky. I like Nightmare. So there we go, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, that was a short stream. <laughs> All right, well, we have some cooking. Remember, if you do have any ideas um, for a recipe you would like me to try and have a go at, uh, no matter what that is, um, as well, actually, as long as it doesn't have chili or garlic, but uh, <gasps> chili or eggplant. I'm allergic to chili and eggplant, so I don't cook with it. 
Um, but if you do have, um, if you do have a um, recipe that you would like me to have a go at that you think is really noms, throw it up in Discord, throw it to me in the DM, wherever, throw it throw the name of it up in, in chat while we're cooking away or whatever. And um, yeah, we can go from there. So, yay. So what's, what do we got? Coming up tomorrow, we've got Valheim uh, with Warden. Then we go all the way around to Tuesday, back into some Baldur's Gate with uh, Warden and um, Jim Tall. Then Wednesday, some more Minecraft. And then back around to Thursday, where we'll be cooking something new. Yay. <laughs> Whew, cooking all this new cooking it's like it's really amazing some of this stuff I do again off stream some of it I don't but yeah some of it is just like oh my god where do I find the time <laughs> but it's good oh might do another honey glazed ham that could be nice anyway so we are going to gear uh, if I can hang on a minute better get my thing to work there we go Let's see, how long has oh, Night's only been going for an hour? Okay. So we can go hang out with Nightmare. Playing some No Man's Sky. Hey, nice catch, Rage. Um, oh, hang on. So, we'll just do that. Um, this is fun. Technic we're doing all the technical things. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go raid. Let's see. Let's see if I can even... It has been so long since I've raided. Um, oops. Uh, should probably make sure I've spelt it right. K N I T E M A R E K N I T E M A R E. Go Dicklecklia. Nope, that was not it. <laughs> What's the red command? Nope. I don't believe I've forgotten the raid command. That's horrible. Nope. Oh, it's slash raid, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. <sighs> I'll get there eventually. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go Raid Nightmare, give him some love. If you haven't thrown him a follow, throw him a follow because he's a great streamer to watch. And follows are free. <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining us. Hopefully we will see you tomorrow for some um, for some Valheim. Uh, if we don't, we'll see you when you see you. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye! That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Don't forget to check the description for any links I may have left there. If you like the video, please press like or subscribe to my channel. The next video in the series is up here. Until then, stay safe, have fun.